Hey guys, so we've got another performer workout for you today. This one is all levels. It is full body. Uh, we'll have options for you to make things more challenging if you need that push today and some modifications to scale it back if today isn't the day. No props, all levels. So get your machine set up and I will meet you right back here in just a minute. Welcome back. So we are ready to get started. As promised, no props today. So uh, my machine is ready to go. I've got on three red springs. We'll begin with footwork. So lay down, headrest up or down, up to you. We're going to begin in our first position. So just sort of settle your hips down. I like to lay with my palms up and it opens my chest and relaxes my neck. You lay comfortably. So from here, take a breath in and then exhale. Just stay and just think about why you're here today and what you need. All right? So let all your bones just settle into the machine. Breathe in and we'll press away. And then exhale, coming back. Pressing out and returning. And return. As you push the legs to straight, zip them up from your heels all the way up to the top of the inner thighs. You want to have awareness through your abdomen. Your low back feels supported on the machine. Just one more time. And stay. Allow the heels to just drop below the bar. If you toe their way back up and return home. Change to parallel. I'm going to go right on the arch of my foot for a little foot massage and breath in as you push the legs. Exhale, return. So there's energy and effort in both directions. So obviously pushing away, but also think pulling home, tighten up your abs. Feeling the hamstring glute connection as you return your heels to your hips, right? Just pulling those two parts in. Any breathing matters, it works actually. So just don't get too caught up in which way is an inhale and which way is an exhale. Just fluid breathing. All right, let's keep it in. Heels on, toes flexed back. And notice that I'm not pulling my toes with me. I'm going to keep my feet against an imaginary wall. So as I come in, I'm going to feel these anterior tibialis keeping my legs, or my feet rather, against that imaginary wall. Exhale, pull. Inhale away. Just take a moment as you're moving here and really relax your brow, relax your shoulders. And final here, high half toe. So we're on the ball of the foot. All 10 toes point up towards the ceiling and I like to press away to start. My heels stay here now. So as they come in, I've got that movement at my ankles and then I push out. So what I'm not doing is elevating my heels the whole time. I'm gonna keep them in, in place. Smooth, fluid breathing. So if you have any knee pain, caution on how high you're tipping your uh, up onto those heels. If it's too much altogether, 
you can skip the high half toe position and just stay on the arch or onto the heels. And let's go right onto the heels from here. Parallel hip distance. out walking my heels to the corners of the foot bar now a little hip mobility so I'm gonna come in my knees pointed out then I'm gonna internally rotate and push them away now my whole leg is internally rotated so if my legs extend knees are still turned down now we rotate them out home in and away so we're just getting this circumduction of the hip a little bit here that femur in the hip socket is just moving now i'm going to reverse and just coming in out push out in come in so just let things start to move that's going to be sort of the theme for today we're just kind of getting a lot of things moving our bodies need recovery also and then bring it all the way in now if your headrest has been elevated I ask you to please put it flat now heels are going to be hip distance apart I'm scooting down just a smidge off the shoulder rest and then bridging from my tail to top I'm trying to create a straight line relatively. I don't need to be so far up here that I'm gonna feel it into my lower back. So just so your shoulder girdle is on the show on the on the mat here on the carriage, and I'm feeling it in my glutes, my hamstrings, and then a lot of emphasis on the inner thigh. And then I'm melting from my top to my tail, one vertebrae at a time, releasing at the bottom again tuck and lift you don't have to really over squeeze the glutes the glutes are going to fire anyways so just be more mindful about inner thighs so as you're keeping your knees in a parallel alignment they should turn on and then back down we go all right now if you're just in the mood to chill and stretch you're going to just do this bridge and stay if you're looking for more of a challenge, one leg can rise. I'm gonna flex the foot as I lower my leg, point it back up to top. Lower, point, lower, point. Two heels back on the bar. I didn't shift in between. Other leg is up. Flex, point, flex, point, and point two heels on the bar we melt top to tail allow the knees to sway left and right stretching out the back here we're going up again center the legs heels hip width curve the spine up find your bridge inner thighs on on attention here up if you're going up with me this time we're going to allow the leg to float wide and center now as my leg travels wide i'm feeling it in the obliques here two more try not to allow it take your hip with you one more time two heels on right up into the opposite leg so what i could do here is a lot of dropping but i'm trying to just allow that femur to move into that hip socket it's a ball joint so it should move independently i know easier said than done one more time two feet on and then all the way down top to tail side to side please okay now i'm going to reach my hands first i'm going to tuck my shirts and then i'm going to reach my hands behind and i'm just going to hold the back edge here. I'm not holding these because these pull up. So I'm going to hold just this back edge and scoot down just a bit. My knees are in tabletop. So I'm going to do a little reverse crunch here, kind of like a rollover prep. So I'm just curling 
and then I roll back down. Your arms are certainly helping you today, okay? But if you're feeling it more in your neck than any place else, maybe you're just here, okay? So just do what you need to do, or maybe you're even just holding tabletop and just working on the stability here in that lower area. Otherwise, we're up, and then we're down. And notice when I hit the top, I'm working. I'm not back here on my neck. I'm up here in my abs. So just be aware of that range. I'm gonna do one more of these little rollover preps. And then down. All right, right away, we're gonna come up and we're gonna change our springs. So now going into a blue only. So my intent for today's workout is going to be moving the spine a lot. Okay, so, oh, and here I go. I did not adjust my straps. Let me do that real quick here. All right, so one blue spring. I have the strap in my hand closest to the tower or to the pulley, and my hands go behind the head. The strap is in front. So we're gonna do a little sideways flexion. So as I lean to the side, watch that you don't kick your hips in the opposite direction. So I've got an imaginary block between my knees, and a sideways flex, and then think of squeezing that block as you come back up. Inhale over, and exhale we're up. Healthy spine is one that is flexible and strong and balanced. So we're working on all of that today. This is the best way to make your body feel energized and strong, is to make your body move in all the different planes. Speaking of which, we're gonna add twist. Same beginning, go over and look at the ground, back to forward facing and up, four parts. Sideways bend, rotate down, back to untwist and up. As you twist, get a little movement in that machine where you're really turning and burning that oblique. And then we come back up. Three more. Over, twist, untwist, and up. Inhale, exhale, in, and again. Down, turn. And I think I have one more to do. Pilates instructors are terrible counters. Everybody knows that, so bear with me here. We did maybe one extra, that's okay. All right, just stay right here. I'm gonna give it to my opposite hand, right into a sword bowl. So I've got that imaginary block between my knee, and I'm going right up. Now you can certainly do uh, just a white or a uh, your quarter spring, whatever machine you're using. I'm using a stop machine, so I've got just a blue spring on. You might have a spring that is yellow. That would be our white equivalent, so half spring. Let's get one more time here, and then bring it all the way back. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side, <coughs> and forgive me, I didn't change my straps. I reminded you all to do that, and then I did not. Of your forearm. Keep your hips stable. Side and up. So watch that you're not kicking your hips out to counterbalance you. You want to have that imaginary yoga block between your knees and you're giving it a little gentle hug with your inner thighs as you write yourself back up. Lower down and lift. Three, get that nice long lateral bend here, really stretching the outer line. Okay, now 
now adding a rotation over the same. We rotate and I'm turning enough that I'm really moving the machine just a little bit. Untwist and vertical. Sideways bend, rotate, untwist, and lift. Inhale down, exhale, turn. Center. That's three of eight. Down, turn. I love these because it really feels good all over your back. Keeps awareness in the shoulder girdle, the neck alignment, and my inner thighs and arms. So everything is working from your neck to your knees. Up. Last time, I think, and <laughs> side, turn, untwist, and up. All right, giving it to the foot bar side hand, sword pull. Inhale, and exhale. Or to go here, keeping your shoulders down, inner thighs squeezing that imaginary block, your hand resting on your waist. You should feel your obliques here where they're engaged for balance. Last. And then back. All right, excellent. Grab your long box. We're going to get some uh, back extension now. So here we go. I'm going to go with a blue and a white. I'm just adding a quarter spring. All right, right on my tummy. Okay, so I'm gonna have my body positioned so that my chest is forward and off the front edge of the box. Position yourself how you need to for the extension that you like. Let's start friendly. So our legs will be over the width of the foot bar in a lateral turnout. Arms press straight, slide shoulders down, and float up and then lower your way back down. So many people lead with their heads. You can see how crunchy that is on my neck. So I'd like you to keep an imaginary neck brace on. So as you're lifting, it's more of the ears coming off the shoulders. <clears throat> now, bend your elbows and come back. If your low back can tolerate it, the legs are gonna to come together. So they're besties, keep them together. Same, so we press away, slide the blades down and rise. And lower down, and then come home. Two more this way. We inhale as we lift, only so high that the primary muscles working are in those postural ones from your upper back area. And then we bend and come in. All right, now I'm gonna remove the white spring, leaving me with just a blue. I'm gonna stay in the same spot here. Now, this one is going to be a little jumpy. So if you don't like that weight, change it, but I've got the same, just a blue. And here. Now, again, I'm not looking up, so the stop machines have this little logo right here on the wood. I'm keeping my eyes there. Even when I'm away, that's where I'm looking. So what you'll notice here is that, well, I'm trying, hopefully it looks that way, that my legs are level and my arms are fairly uh, level as well with my shoulders as I press away. So lots of upper back. Keep your hips and your pubic bones down to support your lumbar spine here. Three more. Two. And one. All right, now, if you would like a little more freedom in the lower back, open up those legs wide. I'm gonna push with one arm, and then I'm gonna look at this one up and around to the bar. Watching up and around, and then one more each way. Out we go. Opposite side first. Uh, up and around, up and around. Now, while I'm here, I'm gonna just go ahead and grab a foot and then 
push down on my thigh. I'm sending my arm out because it gives me more freedom in my shoulders and chest. But I don't have to do anything crazy with my foot. I'm simply driving my hip bone through the box towards the ground and it opens up the hip flexors and the quads. Feels really good. Okay, then we're gonna change feet. Mm, let me stay there all day. So, once you grab hold of your foot, scoot it in so that it's parallel with your hip. You don't want your knee to be out wide. It's, it puts some weird torque on the knee. So keep that one in line with your hip. Let's come off the box just so we can put the foot marks down. Now, I'm going to go back to the blue and the white spring, which is three quarter spring, and have a seat facing the tower. Let's do a little bit of arms pulling straps first. I'm choking up just to the top of the hardware. To pull some stripes here, so I'm going down and back with the arm. Waist pulls in, back is tall. Four, three, two, one. Triceps, so we're gonna bend, push, straight. Bend, push, straight. As I'm pushing back, I'm not allowing my shoulders to round, or I'm trying not to, but keeping that clavicle wide. Four, three, this one's all about just movement today, guys. One more time. Okay. Now, speaking of movement, we're gonna do a reverse teaser. So before you panic, uh, this one is, can be quite friendly. So I'm gonna begin with my arms elevated. I'm not pulling the straps, but they are tight. So I'm gonna begin there. This is gonna offer some assistance for your teaser. So let's leave the feet down. And I'm simply going to tuck under. And as I roll down, my back just finds the box. I'm just gonna to go to straight as we begin. Tuck the chin. And now as I roll, the lifting of the arms actually helps me rise back up. So you can use that as much as necessary. Curve the spine. Think of creating space from your torso to your thighs and create that gap as you roll down. Now if you want, the arms can pull. The arms leap, chin and chest follow, and then we come up. Now, if you're ready for more, you can come along with me, okay? So I'm gonna start the same. I'm gonna tuck just like I did the last time and get down onto the box. I'm gonna leave my arms forward at the beginning. We'll go with legs and tabletop. And then rising up, we're gonna keep the legs. Now I haven't let the carriage dock in. That's docked, okay? So I've got a little resistance here. And now I'm gonna go up and two, one more time, this time those legs stay. Down I go, just to flat, and then all the way up. Ooh, a little balance challenge here. We bend, and one, and two, and three. Down I go, adding the arms this time. Arms go, they lead up, okay. This one's fun. Woo. Lower and lift those legs. Keeping your balance, my carriage is still in play. Three, and then another bend, and then I'm gonna come back up. Okay, nice. Bicep curls here, because we're already sitting here. Let's just do it. Tuck the hips, rolling back. So we're really, so when I talk about that gap, it's here. So we're scooping and creating space here. Curl. Lengthen, curl, and lengthen. Keep scooping your waistline in deeply. As you bend your elbows, your shoulders are tension free. And five, four, three. One more 
time, we're going to hold these elbows bent right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and. All right, hanging up those straps. Put your box on the side. All right, my foot bar is coming back up. Very easy today with the springs. I'm going to keep it on the blue and the white or three quarters. If you find that this one is too challenging, we're going to replace it with a red instead. Okay? So this is just a combination thigh stretch and a, kind of like a pike. So regular thigh stretch position. Enjoy this. There's no change to this. So I'm laying my knee down and I'm leading with this leg. So this one's going back first and then I push this one toward the split. That is not the intent to go to full split. The intent is to open this hip flexor and this hamstring. All right, so once I do that, I'm gonna come in just enough so my hands are roughly below my shoulders and my back leg is straight. The standing leg is gonna continue pointing down towards the floor and I'm going to pipe. And then I'm just dropping the foot to the ground and I sink to my thigh stretch. Now when you pike, we tend to be very over the shoulders. Look how far over my shoulders I am. I want you back here, okay? That's the floor. And sink, enjoy that. And then I love when we do the pike. So we come over the hands first, and then you go up, up, back, and then down. Slow burn if you didn't notice. Right? Two more. Lift, 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 and then go up and back. It's almost like down dog, where you really want your weight back up over your hips. One more here. Come in, and we close the carriage, and we weight back. Okay. Step down. Okay. Other side. So we're gonna just enjoy that thigh stretch first. Oh, it feels so good. And then we come in. Back. We'll just get five. So just drop and sink. Some over the hands. Back. If you could do these all day, I'm going to go ahead and guess that you're over your hands. Okay? You should be the same sensation as uh, inversion, handstand. It's up. Is that real scoop through your waist. If someone was going to lift you up, they'd be lifting you by your belt right over your feet. So I'm in enough. So there, over my hands, all day. Not all day. Okay? Do your best. Ooh, this is my last one. We give it, I have to keep moving my foot around. I've got some foot pain on this side. Not from this, from something else. And we come down and stretch. All right, so we're gonna finish with feet and straps because you always feel cheated if you don't get feet and straps. So I added a red, it's red, white, and blue. You can also do two reds. And we'll lay down. We're going to end with our feet in the straps. All right, so once you're there, make yourself comfortable. Keep your hips flat. Allow the legs to come in and press away. Again, any breath matters as long as you're breathing. 
Keep your shoulders tension free. Relax the muscles in your face. We tend to squint <laughs> for no reason. We're thinking about something. Let those muscles relax. This is the good part. We're wrapping up here anyways. Turn the toes out, continue. We have three hamstrings. I like to looking up at my feet just to make sure that they're somewhat even. I know personally, one of my legs likes uh, that external rotation more than the other. So it's just a little visual reminder for you to see that your feet are level or trying to be. It's all about alignment and symmetry. Turning the knees and toes inward. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a dorsiflexion here. You can feel it pulling on the outside of the corneals there as well. <clears throat> we always start, well we always, a lot of times in my sessions I begin with feet and stops because it helps to limber up the body but it's all lovely cool down also. Heels and toes wide for bend and stretch. And if you go into a Pilates class and you don't get feet and straps, it's like something is missing. So I didn't want to cheat you today. Allow those knees to open. Again, we're trying to really create some openness. A little bit heavy here. Stag, one leg is wide. One knee is bent. They reconnect heels and alternate sides. Then we're going to move into frog. So the legs go vertical in a lateral turnout, bending the knees, the toes point. The legs open wide, the feet flex, and the legs circle closed. They lift, bend out and around we go and up and then we've made a little point here out and around now this one goes in reverse round to the sides now it gets kind of weird to come in and point so if that's too awkward you can certainly just connect the heels and then up and down but the true way to do the stop frog is to come in Lift and final time around here. Wide. Then we point the toes straight up through that straw and down. All right, now headrest is still flat. A couple of short spines. If short spine isn't in your wheelhouse today, happy baby is what you're going to do. Otherwise, we're over. The knees soften, lengthen, lengthen lengthen through the lower back, then the knees, and out, lift, try to create space, imagine someone's pulling you right here, away from your chest, and we're just pulling, 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 and down, one more, Spine, bending the knees, push out. Okay, if you've done your happy baby, join us now. We're gonna finish with leg circles. See leg circles. I don't mind since this is the last thing we're doing. The tailbone wants to rise off the mat a little. It creates a little traction down the lowest part of the lumbar spine. Let's get about I don't know four, and then we'll do the opposite direction. Just as many. I hope that you're feeling great today. I hope that this workout loosened up your body, put you in a better mood, maybe got a little sweat going, but most of all, just makes your body feel good. Bend your knees, feet come out of the straps. Now go ahead and just find the foot bar with your feet. Allow the knees to go to one side. And then the other side. And as you're ready, sit up. 
and we're finished. So I feel great. I hope you feel great and I'll see you next time.